Welcome to DIY Solar and Wind. If you want to take your house off grid one solar panel at a time, follow my example. I now have 26 solar panels and the lowest electric bill out of anybody I know, except for one. He put up solar panels all over his roofs. So um, click on the links down below and see how I have gone to the great extension as to uh, having batteries in the basement and solar panels all over the side of the house. But um, here we are at Gilmore Car Museum before these trucks leave. This display, by the time you see this video, all of these trucks will be gone to another place. Somewhere near you, maybe. But um, I don't know what's coming in here next. But this floor will have another bunch of antique vehicles here soon. Today I want to show you 1919 duplex, four-wheel drive. This is the tallest truck in here. <laughs> There's no cover. <laughs> this, this truck would have been horrible in the winter. <laughs> Hauling cargo for a long distance. You'd have froze your tail off. And the, the, here we have factory price of twenty five seventy five back in nineteen nineteen. See if I can get a good angle on this and at least read a little something off the description. The duplex power car company was founded in Charlotte, Michigan in nineteen oh nine. It produced mostly trucks and truck related machinery until it was I'm wobbling. It, uh, let's see until it was reorganized into the duplex truck company in 1916. The duplex truck company was prominent builder and supplier of trucks and private companies as well as government agencies during the years between 1916 and 1955. The 1955 Warner Swansea Company purchased the company and the duplex division closed in 1975. It's interesting. I went to school in Charlotte, Michigan for a couple years and I didn't even know that. Pretty interesting. And that's that in a nutshell. And have a nice sunny day.